Today we're going to create simple auto visualizer in Blender using geometry nodes. So let's start with default cube. Scale it uh, till 0.1 and apply. Let's add a wireframe to our cube. Shift D, escape, add modifier, wireframe. Yay! And apply. And also let's uh, change the second material and then join them. Now let's zoom out and uh, move our cube away. And then add plane and uh, scale it something like this and uh, then subdivide mm -hmm, 24 Yay. and then let's add geometry node to plane yeah. and point instance and select our cube. Now let's add uh, random scale and position for our cubes. We add uh, attribute randomize. I think it will be nice. And now we can uh, shift D, change it to vector and uh, attribute mix. As a result, we have to influence position. Uh, but we have to not mix, but uh, add. It's what I wanted. And now let's add values that uh, will control our scale and uh, position. So we'll do this the math node. <laughs> and value here and uh, we will see it uh, in our modifier and if you will want we can change name but I think value will be a good name. I think it will be better to use power to change our value more drastically. And let's you do it here and here. But I also want uh, to use other math node, divide node. Yeah. And now when we will change our value, we will obtain exactly what I wanted for our animation. When value is low, our cubes are big and close. And when the value is high, our cubes uh, are tiny and far away from each other. Excellent. Now let's animate our value with a sound curve. Change to graph editor. And here we can press key and bake sound to F curve. And then choose our curve. Let's add sound to video editing. And now let's switch to other segment. I'd like to use this segment to obtain good sound in animation loop. You can see that uh, animation isn't smooth. And uh, to fix it we have to unbake the curve and uh, then smooth it. And you can see that now animation looks much better. If it's not good for you, you can use decimate. Uh, let's go closer, how it will influence our animation curve. And you can choose which value will fit you. I think it will be good for me. So now our animation is ready and now we switch to shading to define our material. I'd like to use random colors for our cubes, but firstly let's position our camera. If we choose cube, we can now work with our material. 
now we have uh, cubes with uh, random colors. So now I uh, defined colors and uh, switch to constant. I add emission and emission strength will be 3. Now we can adjust world settings. I like to make the background black. So now we're done with our materials. And uh, let's add a bit of blue. Choose uh, encoding and audio encoding. Now you can render animation. 